Hello everyone, in this request I will model a vase which has some triangular patterns and sometimes these triangular patterns are really tough to get but I managed to get that look so let's start I will start with the polygon object and change orientation to plus C let's make segments 2 then I will switch front view and make the polygon object editable. Press C. I will select the points at the top, click weld and weld right in the middle. Same for the bottom parts. Then I will switch to polygon mode, select all and melt. Now I will duplicate by pressing Ctrl and moving on the Y axis but then I will press Shift so it will snap like that I will also duplicate that one too and move it 50 centimeters and also for the Y axis 50 centimeters duplicate that too and move 100 centimeters. Now I will select them all, right click, connect objects, and delete. Now I can modify the point. Let's make that one something like that, and these ones like that. I will, I will move that point very lower, then right click, line cut, and I will just delete that single point. Same thing here, right click, line cut, and delete. Okay, now let's put that into a cloner object, press Alt and select cloner. I will change the color and I'll, I, I, need, I need cloners to be on the x-axis so I will set my y to 0 and set x 100 if you remember that when I added polygon object it had 100 centimeters height and width so now let's make the count 7 now I will put that cloner into a connect object so that the band deformer could work. Let's see where it bends. So it's the wrong way. I will rotate the band deformer two times. So this is the way. Now I will put the band deformer under the cloner object in the connect object and say fit the parents. It's not going to be a perfect match, but we will fix that later. Now I will go to my polygon, select them all, and subdivide. And subdivide one more time. Now I will make a new deformer, FFD deformer, and put that right in the middle of the object. It does not be perfect. And I will also change the Y size. And put the FFD deformer after the bent deformer. And I will make my Y points 8 switch points mode and I will select them and scale them something like that let's turn off the visibility of the deformers uh, 
Okay, now I will select my mesh, select the top points, and scale them until they touch each other. Same for these points. Turn off to the formers and I will select these edges. Press Ctrl and Extrude. And I will also enable my deformers to see. Okay, something like that is good. Now I will select these four polygons, right click and melt. Same here. And select these two points. Select Welt. And we can just delete these four points. And also Welt these ones. Now I can scale these points. Okay, let's turn off the deformers. Now I can finish these cuts. Okay, let's enable the deformers. Now let's try to weld these points automatically. So select the connect object and add another connect object. But I will increase my threshold. It did a great job except here so I will increase my tolerance and it's gonna fix that okay now let's make the extrusions I will select that part extrude inner then scale and also I will move them on the ZX. Same thing here. Extrudiner. Scale. And move. Extrudiner scale and move. But for that part, I will weld these points. And I will select these points, scale them on the y-axis and switch to right view and move them on the z-axis and also enable snap, edge snap and vertex snap. Also 
these points too. But I will move this once like that. So it's going to be smoother. Actually, these don't need to be perfectly flat. And let's make the bottom part extra inner and scale, then move. And I will double click on that edge loop and dissolve. Then I will select these edges, switch to front mode, enable snap. Okay, now we can make that object editable. Press C. Now I will try to close that gap, double click on those edges, press Ctrl and scale. Then press U and C. This is gonna collapse them. And I will make a look at here. Then I will select some of the edges. And so now I will make some selections. Put selection, funk break selection, and change the funk angle until it gets that air sharp edges. So something like that. Then hit select all, but I will select some of them, like these ones. Also these ones. And I will also deselect the bottom edges. Okay, now I will make a selection. Selection, set selection. Then I will press shift and add a bevel deformer. And I will put that selection in the selection tab. I'll set my offset to 2 and subdivision to 1. And I will make a look at here. So this is gonna hold that shape. For that part, let's add these edges to. Select the selection tag, go to selection and hit set selection. I will double click the top edges, 
select slides, press control. So now let's put that object into a subdivision surface. So it looks like that we made some wrong selections. So I will just select these ones. Select the selection tag, cut selection and set selection. And let's select the top edges, press control and scale. And one more time, now I will add some loop cards. If you decrease the subdivision, you will get a smoother object. If you increase that, it's going to be sharper. And also, let's fix that phone angle issue. If you get something like that, go to phone angle and uncheck edge breaks. Okay guys, that was it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.